this tutorial I'm going to show you how to apply a depth of field using the R underscore the depth overlay one command. Start by importing your footage and your depth map layer into After Effects and then I'm going to drag this into new composition and the depth map layer right below it. First thing you want to do is make sure that the time offset on both of these layers are the same so that they perfectly align on top of each other because otherwise you're going to run into trouble when you apply the lens blur effect which we're going to do now. So go to effect, blur and sharpen and lens blur and the first thing we're going to do is select the depth map layer and we're going to put it to this, this Scott 1 depth map and you can see it applied some blur already but it's which is still need to adjust the variables to make make it look the way we want it. So first we can adjust the focal distance a bit to focus on the scout more. If that seems about right. We can maybe adjust the blur slightly. That's perhaps a bit too much. Let's try it again. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty sharp already. And then just make sure that that it stays sharp on the, the object you want throughout the footage because if it's on some points closer than on other points you might need to put some keyframes for the focal distance and adjust it accordingly. I think it works pretty well in this clip by using the same same distance throughout it. Here you could maybe reduce it. Well, no, let's stick with 75 throughout the clip and uh, other than that it's really simple to use and uh, and such but uh, the problem really relies on the dead map itself you can see it doesn't show anything beyond this point so it only shows objects that are very close to the camera and as such it, you really need to think it through before you start using it because if the objects you want to keep on focus are far away from the camera you can't achieve it by using this method so it only works when the objects you want in focus are close to the camera like this cut right here so before you start recording make sure that they actually appear on the on the dead player and other than that it's just a matter of recording the footage twice <laughs> 